Barbara, you said you met somebody and they gave you a maths problem you said might be interesting. Yes, somebody said it's come from Australia, from somebody who's really keen on geometry. So we're going to have a go at it. We'll have a go at it. So start by drawing a circle. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to look at what you're drawing. And draw in a diameter. Right. And now draw a trapezium in your circle so the vertices are on the circumference and the diameter is one of the sides of your trapezium. Well, that's sort of that and that, you mean? Oh, you're not looking at it, are you? Okay. Well, no, I am now. Right. Okay, yeah. Now draw an isosceles triangle so the vertices are on the circumference of your circle and the three sides of your isosceles triangle must be parallel to three sides of the trapezium. Well, it must be these three sides then, because two of those two yes, are parallel. Yes, that's what I reckoned. So if I drew one about parallel to that, and one about parallel to that, and then I sort of drew like that. Yes, so our diagrams look pretty similar. No. The claim is that the area of the isosceles triangle is equal to the area of the trapezium. Can, and yes, am I right on. in thinking that the trapezium has to be isosceles as well? Yes, uh, only the isosceles trapezium fit in That's right. circles because the opposite angles have to add up to 180 degrees and stuff. And also, there's a line of symmetry down here. Why? It? I think. Maybe there isn't. Does Having got your isosceles trapezium... Yeah. I think when you draw your isosceles triangle, if I had the point say over oh, well, here... Well, if I draw a perpendicular from this onto the base of the isosceles yes. triangle, yes. Yeah, then this is parallel to that, so that's going to be at right angles to that, isn't it? I um, don't know what that, where that gets us. So, yeah, go on. I think it must be, that point has to be in the middle, because if it was over here, and I was drawing that parallel to that and that parallel to that. Yeah. It's not going to be isosceles. No, but... I... You don't want to assume it's symmetrical. Well, we can provisionally, yeah. Because that might make the problem easier, and then if we could then think later... OK. Maybe it doesn't have to be symmetrical, because I, th I can't, yeah. you know... So these are parallelograms? Yes, I agree. And they are congruent parallelograms. Yeah, OK. Right. And we've got another isosceles... Okay, sort of similar can, triangles. Could, could we actually sort of break off from talking to each other for a minute? Have a little and thing. Th have a little thing. Mm -hmm. hmm. I mean, I, all I've got so far is that that area plus that area has got to be the same as yep. the parallelogram <laughs> agree with that. B. <laughs> um. Well, I was thinking we've got to use the fact that, you know, what properties can we use that right. we know? I mean, we haven't used the fact that it's in a circle necessarily, and I'm remembering right. things from my past, like the intersecting chords theorem in a circle, but I'm not sure how that's going to help. Gonna be helpful. Right. I mean, we've got le similar triangles here. Hang, hang on, can we, I mean, let's play with intersecting chords, because that's that times that is the same as that times that. All right. So th this is uh, this thing here is a right angle. But that's not a court. Oh, yes. No, it isn't. No. no. Ah. This length here isn't the same as that length there, is it? I was making assumptions like that, and it isn't on my no, accurate no, diagram. No, on your accurate diagram. A blow, Because then. that's what bothers me about this, is because none of this is... I mean, I could have drawn my trapezium right up here, or right down there. Do you see what I mean? So. Oh, right. Ah. Suppose we take a special case. I mean, in, in a special case... At least we can get a special case, can't we? Mm. If if your if our isosceles trapezium became a triangle, right, then the isosceles triangle with sides parallel to it would be the triangle itself, so it would have the same, same area. area. So that feels so good. so if we can somehow move away from it being a triangle, we're not using loads of things at oh, the no. moment. This oh, no. is a diameter, 
Yeah. And this is a circle. And so you could have angles uh, angles in a semicircle or right angle. Tangles, but, but where... Or angles in the same segment are equal, but we don't seem to have got any. I could start drawing extra lines in, but I feel I've got enough lines already. They're equal chords, so I mean these are equal angles if I drew that line in there. That and that, say. Equal arcs, I mean, so they'd subtend equal angles. We don't see why that helps. I, 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 I want to leave alone the symmetry. What we've got to use is the data, haven't we? Uh, now this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a diameter as well. If you're, if yes. you're, um, yeah, okay. And this is a diameter. So the angle in a semicircle. Hmm. So I mean. So that's, that's a right angle. So I want to mm. draw that. Mm. Mm. You see, I wondered if you could get somewhere, but using yes. the fact that these triangles are similar, right. you just put some lengths on them and do some intersecting cores and see if you could get some relationship between the sides. But Sounds I suspect, a bit heavy. Yeah, I, I mean, if it feels it, we, a bit. we might be able to do that, but I think at the I moment really... I'd prefer to stay with more with the geometry. So yeah. I mean, we might have to do that, but. Um, I feel I just want to jigsaw it. That's the other, the other extreme. You feel that sort of that bit fit it in there. But we've got to draw something that's going to use what we've got, haven't we? I mean, this this angle in the isosceles triangle, or say the base angle of the isosceles triangle. So I mean, if I drew that in, that's X, and that one up there is X. It's quite a it? hard problem, isn't it? It is. It is. I thought it would be. And that's ninety. <laughs> Good. Okay. So that's 90 minus x, so that's x again. Can, can we have be. another that's little private, private think again? Somehow I want to move that trapezium down to the base of the triangle, but I don't know how. Well, so I'll move it down so that it's level with the base of the triangle. I see. So if it, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to wanting to put lengths on it and do intersecting chords and similar yeah. triangles. Well, what do you want to do exactly? Can you keep the number of variables fairly limited? By well, they're all A's, say. And then, well, I don't know yet. They're oh. all the same. Oh. You see, and then that, you see, the, this yes. is the same as this. And in this triangle here, you've got a pair of similar triangles, and that length's the same as that length. Yeah, I mean, it, it, your intersecting chords, I mean, um, if and we... Then you could just say that one with that one, say. If we take well, this chord and this chord, really. is that what you're mm -hmm. thinking? This chord and this chord. Because you want to use similar triangles mm. here, mm. which could be, yeah, in so sense, that chord those, and that yeah. chord. And, you want to, and then that would be that times that. The trouble with using an uh, intersecting chords theorem, though, is that you're going to get the product of those lengths. And if you're using similar triangles, you want the quotient, don't you, not the product. Well, I think you could do something there and get a relationship between all those sides, but then I'm not sure where that would get you anywhere. This, I mean, obviously this bit is a isosceles trapezium as well, but I mean... So and this bit so is, what? that's an isosceles trapezium, that's an isosceles I mean, there's isosceles trapezium yeah. all over the place, on our assumption that it's got to be symmetrical. Yes.